what's up everybody? I hope you guys are all having a great day. I know I'm pretty excited to jump back into Nitro Blast and check out some extra features. This time we're going to talk about the Auto tab. We've been through these other three tabs and the Auto tab is one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and make a cube and let's make this guy a little bit longer. So what is the Auto tab? If we go ahead and add a Platonic and we'll raise this guy up a little bit. So the auto tab is different than the regular main tab where you fracture things. The auto tab is basically showing how two different objects collide and then gives you a lot of options for how they interact. So let's go ahead and make sure that in our auto tab our platonic is set to dynamic and then our cube is set to static. And you'll see that it added two tags here. We'll talk about those in a second. So now that we have those two done, we can click auto fracture and it's going to basically calculate this animation. So this is what we have so far with our default auto fracture. Now let's talk about this tag. When you do a fracture with the main section, it's gonna fracture an object, but it's not gonna give you these two tags. Auto fracture gives you these tags that are called uh, Nitro Blast Auto Tags. And there is a ton of functionality inside these guys. So let's talk about what we can do with these. So the interesting thing about using the auto tag is that it basically renders the main tag uh, useless. So if we change our Nitro Blast pieces to fracture like 1000 pieces, and we'll give this a second to calculate because that's quite a few pieces. All right, so we got a bunch of pieces now. If we hit play, it's gonna be incredibly slow, of course, since it's a thousand pieces. All right, let's pause that. If we wanna go into any of these tags to change things, let's go ahead and say that we wanna change the fall off on our platonic. Then we go back to our auto tab and hit auto fracture again. You're gonna notice that after it calculates, we're back down to 20 pieces. We don't have that 1,000 pieces. The reason that is is because all of a sudden when you're using the auto tab, you have this pieces uh, slot right here. This is where you're gonna calculate the amount of pieces. Um, so yeah, this is kind of confusing. It confused me in the beginning because the pieces in our main tab did nothing. Remember to go to your tag and control the pieces in here. That is a huge point that I need to make. All right, so that is that. Let's go ahead and change that to something like 50 just so it's more manageable. All right, let's talk about the fall off. If we have uh, zero fall off, it's gonna affect a very tiny range. And notice that I'm changing the platonic tag, not the one um, for the cube. The platonic tag is the dynamic one and it's gonna make the damage. So this is the one you need to control with your fall off. So let's go ahead and make our fall off really big and then we'll see what happens here. So you can see that we're getting a much larger chunk of destruction here because our fall off is greater. We have power, so we can add a little bit more power to add more destruction. So that is uh, really two of the big functionalities is fall off and power and a little bit of weight to make sure that you play around with those. All right, so let's talk about how we can add two different things here. This is kind of a gotcha that you need to know about. So we'll push this guy over here, we'll duplicate it, put one over here. Now you gotta make sure that we add the second one to our list here. So we'll add that and then we're gonna hit auto fracture. So you're gonna see that it's calculating one auto fracture here but this one did nothing. So this is kind of confusing at first, but there's a simple way to change that. So what we have to do is go into our Nitro Blast cube and go to our tag, and there is a multi-break uh, twirl down. The multi-break is set at 0% right now. What we need to do is slide that all the way up to 100%, and then we'll re-auto fracture, and you'll notice we get our calculations of our first hit here, and then over here, now it's calculating the second hit. So you gotta make sure you go to that multi-break and slide that all the way to 100%, and now you will get two different breaks, which is really, really sweet. So that is the cool thing about auto. You have a lot of control over how these things split, how far the fall off is. One really cool feature that I wanna show you is this use cracks thing. So if we go ahead and check this, and then we go ahead and do our auto fracture, we're gonna go ahead and see this animation, and if we, pause it right here and render, you're gonna see that we're getting all these little cracks here, which is actually pretty sweet. So we're getting all these cracks here. Let's go ahead and see how we can customize these. If we go to our Nitro Blast cube and twirl this guy down, we have our pieces, and if we twirl that down and go to the static pieces, we have this tag on this Nitro Blast crevice. Let's go ahead and click on that tag, and then let's click on show range. 
and now you can see the range of where these cracks are going to be. Now we can actually move this thing, which is pretty sweet. So if we move it all the way down, you can see that the cracks are moving too. So we're getting all of these really nice cracks. And what we can do is change the power of it so that there's more or less, and we can change the fall off so we can add more. And uh, we can also change the speed because these cracks actually grow on, which is really nice and the duration of how long it takes them to grow on. So this is another pretty sweet feature that uh, will add a little bit of realism too, because you can see that there's no cracks here, but the second that it hits, these cracks sort of grow on, which is very, very cool. So that's it for the Auto Tab. Lots of very, very cool things that you can do with that guy. A lot of fun to play around with, and uh, next time we'll get into some more details on other stuff you can do with Nitro Blast and some of these other objects that come with it. So, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye everybody!